Hi, my name is Ethan Dale, and I'll be talking to you about my research, which involves an investigation of the Hall thruster breathing mode. So Hall thrusters are a flexible electric propulsion technology that is widely deployed for near-Earth applications like station keeping of satellites, and increasingly being slated for deep space missions like the upcoming NASA mission to Psyche. As with any in-space propulsion technology, the stability of these devices is critical. Understanding the onset of instabilities the transition between them, between them and their growth is paramount for the success of, of these devices. Unfortunately, Hall thrusters exhibit a wide range of instabilities, many of which are still poorly understood. And the interaction between them and tra transition from one to the other is especially poorly understood. So for example, one of the largest instabilities and most ubiquitously seen is called the Hall thruster breathing mode. And here you can see two high speed video stills uh, of a thruster exhibiting this mode. So at the peak in discharge current, the plume is very bright, and at the trough in discharge current, the plume is very dim. And these are only separated by tens of microseconds. So in this case, for the breathing mode, uh, there are theories existing to describe it, but they have little predictive power, and they're experimentally unvalidated. So the, under the modern understanding of the breathing mode isn't very helpful from a design standpoint and from verifying the stability and reliability of, hall of a hall thruster in flight. So the objectives for my work have been first to develop tools to characterize the Hall thruster breathing mode experimentally and provide the experimental data that thus far is lacking that's needed to validate a lot of these theories. After that, uh, actually applying these tools to gather that experimental data, then providing a validated qualitative description of the instability. So using this data that I've gathered to come up with, uh, with a uh, intuitive, intuitive explanation about uh, where the breathing mode is coming from, where it's, what its energy source is, how it grows, how it damps. And finally, provide a valid analytical description of the instability. So taking all this data together to come up with a simple, intuitive, analytical model that can be used to predict its onset and growth. The major findings from this work uh, first came in, uh, in the form of developing uh, a technique that I called IBIS, uh, which is combining time-resolved laser-induced fluorescence with a kinetic model so that time-resolved plasma proper properties can be non-invasively measured uh, in the very near field and internally inside of a Hall thruster. So this satisfied that first of my objectives. I then applied this technique to measure fluctuations uh, in a modern laboratory Hall thruster. And I found that the measured fluctuations are actually quite incompatible with existing zero-dimensional theories. Um, so this strikes right at the heart of that, that second and third objective, where I'm seeing that a lot of these existing theories that are unvalidated actually don't agree very well with reality. Uh, finally, I came up with a two-zone model of the breathing mode, which agrees more with the experimental data. And you can see this uh, in the bottom right here, where essentially I, I propose the following process, that uh, there's ionization that's happening in the downstream typical ionization region, uh, which produces a, an excess of hot electrons, which then travel upstream. Eventually they reach the anode sheath, which uh, after some phase delay produces a, an excess of neutrals, which then slowly propagate downstream and reach the ionization zone and restarts the process. Uh, and so in this way, um, a, a more uh, experimentally consistent model of the breathing mode is produced that still doesn't deviate terribly far from uh, from the existing intuition about it, but provides more insight into what's actually how it's growing and what its energy source is. Uh, and additional one-dimensional studies are being conducted on this to kind of get at the heart of that last fourth objective of providing a validated analytical description of the instability. Uh, and that work is ongoing, um, but is showing promising results in being able to apply this two-zone model to a simple analytical uh, description of the breathing mode.